Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Before we get into today's video, let's take a look at some things from yesterday's puzzle that I didn't know or perhaps I forgot that I knew. Pago Pago, the capital of American Samoa. Friar Tuck of Robin Hood. The definition of SRO I didn't know. Single room only or standing room only. Uh, wine sap is, an, is a type of apple that's, that was, that's been cultivated since coloni American colonial times and it's ideal for making cider, which the clue, I think that was the clue. Um, orange Pico, I had trouble with that one. The tea industry uses this term as a, it's a type of grating for tea leaves. An automat is a fast food restaurant where simple foods and drinks are served by vending machine. And they had those before, before most fast food restaurants, I think that those were sort of like cafeteria style establishments where it was all vending machines. And then Eland is an antelope from East or Southern Africa. Okay, let us move on to the puzzle for today. Let's see what we got. We have a Tuesday puzzle. Let's get into it. Here we go. Knack for music appreciation. Um, pretty much that means you have an ear for, an ear for music. Uh, let's see here, ID checkers, or id checkers, maybe, egos? That could be what that means, let's see. Luminous, uh, glow. So the way that I knew that, I think id and ego are counterparts in psychology. That's, that's how I knew that that was ego, in case you're wondering. Some people have been asking, how do I know? So this is how I know. Zip. <clears throat> Alfa, Romero, Alfa Romero is a type of car. Uh, OMG, ha ha ha. Uh, this would be rolling on the floor laughing. So it's, I think it's R O F L, like that. And what's this one? Doing something just for fun. Hmm. What's that one? What a sonogram might show. Uh, a womb. Pinkish source of protein, salmon. And let's do 19 down. Dark film genre would be noir. Noir is a type of film genre. Olympic skier for Lindsey Vaughn. Uh, that would be a, um, <laughs> I forget what she does. Is it um, skis? I think it's skis, right? Maybe not. Wait, <laughs> maybe it's not, let me think. Um, resident of Mosul. Um, Mosul is in, what is it, Afghanistan? So, is it Afghanistan? Afghan? Resident of model, of Mosul. Yeah, I think that's right. Um, work it on the catwalk. Um, would it be strut, maybe? What's this? No. This is not it. Wait a second. Do I, is Afghan wrong? Someone from Afghanistan is called Afghan, right? Some male deer. No, this is wrong. <clears throat> Where is Mosul? I thought it was Afghanistan. Is it Iraq? Oh, is it Iraq? Iraqi? Wait. Urgh. I feel like this is stat. Some male deer, I thought, oh wait, They're, it's either bucks or stags, I'm not sure. Variety show bit would be a um, uh, skit, maybe? Some male deer, off on a, doing, doing something just for fun, off on a something. The world's third largest city behind Tokyo and Delhi. What would that be? What's the third largest city? I don't know. Penn. Who is it? Well, it's not Sean Penn, obviously. Actor, comedian, Penn. I don't know. Um, where is it? I thought it, I thought Mosul was in Afghanistan. Quiet. So it is Iraqi. So it's I guess it's Iraq. 
Iraqi. Okay. And then some male deer. Um, hmm. What's this one? Off on a... Doing something just for fun. Off on a what? Or is it just, is it off on without the A? Work it on the catwalk. Strut. This is strut. Okay. What is this? Some male deer. I don't know. This is skis. Okay, I was right. Ken? Ken? No. It would be Ken Pen. That would be a pretty, <laughs> that name would be pretty rough. Ken Pen. Um, some male deer. Some male deer. What is that? <clears throat> Off on. Man, I don't know. 2010's HBO drama series that starred Reese Witherspoon and Nicole. Oh, that was um, Big Little Lies, right? Big Little Lies. There we go. Finally. Watching that show paid off. <laughs> Okay, um, Greek P. I, okay, I just looked up the Greek alphabet. You saw me the other day. Um, what is What was P? Is it something like... Mm, and I don't remember what it is. Artist-friendly living spaces. Um, lofts. Okay, I was going to say, is it R-H-O? That could be what it is. The world's third largest city. Um... Shanghai. Shanghai, like that? Some male deer. What is that? What? Off on a lark? Is that it? Yeah, that's it. And what's this? What, what, what name is that? What word is this? Hertz? Some male deer. Hearts? Like that? Cal Pen, is that somebody? It must be. I don't, I, I don't know. I'll have to look that up later. There you have a cross. Natural hairstyles, uh, afros. But let's go over here. Gate fastener, maybe a clasp. Long, long ago. It's not clasp. Ago. And then this must be gate fastener. Um, maybe, I don't know, 17 across, best competitive stuff, um, best, um, Marissa Spider-Man, homecoming, no idea, uh, let's do this one, Logan Roy's children in succession, um, okay, what about his children, um, I know he has, can't remember who what their names are right now, but there's three of them or four of them. And is it gonna be something like brats or something? Twenty-four. Make mistake. Err. Okay, there we go. Because it's not. It ends with R S. Um, what's this one? Let me borrow you for a sec. Let me borrow you for a sec. So when it's in quotes like this, you you say it's another word that you would say in place of let me borrow you for a sec but I don't know. Grammy-nominated psychedelic music act with an animal in its name. Gate fastener. Best competitive stuff. Hmm, what's this one? Marissa, well, wait a minute. Okay, we're gonna get stuck here. Let's try to get this one. Word of respect with an apostrophe in the middle. Probably ma'am. What's this? National Mall Trees, probably Elm. 27 down, uh, Laura Dern. I think her name is Laura Dern. Foamy Flourish from a barista. Um, um, fl foamy Flourish. That's that pattern that you draw in the foam of coffee, of, of, of the frothy milk, of uh, steamed milk. It kind of looks like steams could go in here. It's probably not what it is. Um, let's do this one. Money in India. Uh, rupees. Rup a rup is it just rupee like that? 
Nobel Prize field in brief. Don't know. 41 singer. Etta James. Okay, there we go. Uh, or is, is it rupee like that? Uh, in brief. This could be like physics or something. Let's try this. Uh, oodles and oo oodles and oodles. A lot. Uh, 52 across. TV's Navarro or Cabrera. Navarro or Cabrero, Cabrera. I don't know. Grammy nominated psychedelic music act with an animal in its name. Impala. Some, something Impala. And what's this? Anna Navarro? Anna Cabrera. Nobel Prize field in brief. Um, um, is this an I or an E? Rupee. I feel like it's like that. What Nobel Prize field is this? Oh, it's an, it's two E's. It's econ. That's what it is. Econ economics. So it's econ is short for economics. Okay, rupee, like that. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Is this foamy? Okay. Um... What is this? Something soy tears, <laughs> maybe? Gate fastener. Is this right? Long, long ago? It must be. Somebody Impala. Oh, man. What's this? Saying about compatible partners, as suggested by the starts of the answers to this puzzle's starred clues. Off on. Big little. Okay. Um, opposites attract. That's what it is. Opposites attract. Opposites. Opposites attract. Oh wait, here we go. Ah, this is it. Art. It's it's art at the end. So this will be latte art. That's what it is. Latte art. Okay, let's get this now. Oh, is it Mercer Tomei? Oh. Okay. Best competitive stuff. Don't know. Gate fastener. Uh, latch. There we go. Latch. Oh, they're heirs. Right. Logan Roy's children. They're all billionaires. They're heirs. Uh, let me borrow you for a sec. Come here. It's abbreviated because the answer also has abbreviations in it, so you can then take the liberty of abbreviating in the answer. And your A game is your best competitive stuff. Okay, so... Grammy nominated second Tammy Impala? Is that how you say that? Tame Impala, maybe? I don't know. Tame Impala, maybe. Okay. Big fish catcher. No. Nope. Clean with steel wool. Um, scour. And then this is book or movie suggestion of recommendation is a wreck. Bolivian bear also, yes. Spa amenity is a sauna. And then big fish catcher. Not sure, not sure. Uh, I pass it would be nah. And 51 down, a laugh and a... Uh, not sure. 28 across, medical show settings in briefs. Probably ERs or ERs or ORs. Uh, that one and that one in Spanish. Um, Esos. That one and that one is those. Eso is those in Spanish. Esos, no. Is it esos? I think that's I think that's right. Fully attentive. Fully attentive. Um hmm. ruling house of the Mid East. I don't know. Avocados, eggs, and berries in ad speak. Um, that's do not pass go. Do not collect two hundred dollars. Okay, so that's do not. That's from Monopoly, the game Monopoly. Oh, this is Sad House of Sad. I think that's right. Oh, you're fully attentive. You're wrapped. That's what it is, wrapped. 
shorthand writer for short is a steno, uh, short for stenographer. Um, avocados, eggs, and berries. Um, sap, not sure. What's this one? Blowout. 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 Brew pub order that's tart to the taste. I don't know. Uh, Mama's Hermana. That would be Tia. So your mother's sister in Spanish. Your aunt is Tia. Uh, blowout. Blowout. Uh, is, a, is it a... Uh, um, does that mean you blow out a tire? Or does it mean you had a something else, some kind of like a hoot? Maybe. Let's go down here. Made a hasty exit. Okay, so we know we're going to have two words that are opposite. So here we have off on, here we have big little. And down here we're going to have something like made a hasty exit. We're going to find out soon. Got visibly excited in a way. Not sure. Prefix with centrism or cultural. Could be ethno. Ethnocentrism. Ethnocultural. Maybe. Brain teaser. Not warranted or appropriate. Not sure. Uh, 65. That one and that one. Oh, here we go. So now we have the English version. That one and that one in Spanish, and that one and that one in English. Take to court, you sue someone. And what is this? Got visibly. Um, this would be. So, the, got visibly excited is in past tense. So now I can take a guess that this will be ed down here. And what word will come to mind? Got visibly excited in a way. Um, I don't see it. And But let's look here. How was blank? No. How was I to know? Uh, 53 down. Got visibly excited in a way. Um, hmm. What could this be? I don't see it. Not warranted or appropriate. I wonder if this is wrong. Got visibly excited in a way. This might be something else because this could be something else. Brain teaser. Huh. A little bit of a snag here. Brew pub order that's tart to the taste. Brew pub order. Soda. Something? No. What's this? The Jungle Book Bear. Oh. Handful of hair gel. Could that be a glob, maybe? What's 70 across? Support for a leg injury. Um, maybe it's not a glob. Because you want this to be like... Go down here. Evening gown feature. Mm, maybe sash? Not sure. Here in Haiti. Oh. Let's go back because I think Haiti they speak French, and here in French is Ici, I think. Evening gown feature. Not sure. Uh, okay, oh no, this is glob because now it just came to me. So glob and then for your leg, you have a brace, and that fits really nicely with Issy. Uh, 56 down, awful amount of time to be stuck in traffic. Well, an hour? <laughs> um, 
would it be a hour? Usually you say an hour. The Jungle Bear, the Jungle Book Bear. Don't know. Complete and utter. Um, could this just be total? And this evening gown feature is a maybe a slit. That's probably what it is. Awful amount of time. Oh, our plural hours. All right, let's. Uh, what's this? Jungle Book. Uh, we don't know this, do we? No. Um, what's this one? Made a hasty exit. Uh, okay, this is going to be left, right. Left, right, away. Left, right, away. There we go. So opposite words, left and right. Um, now let's get this. Got visibly excited. Yeah, this is... Okay, so I was right that the, the answer is past tense, but it wasn't an, a word that ends with ed. The past tense word is here, lit. And the person lit up when they got excited. Not warranted or appropriate is un... Um, on something. Brain teaser is a... Wow, I can't really see this. Wow, this is tough. Uh, avocados, egg, okay. Oh, this is going to be foods. Ah, undo is this. Undo. Not warranted. Undo. And this is a posit. A posit. You posit something. To, and it's like a question or something like that. What is this? Say, um, hmm, avocado eggs and berries. What is this? What's this word? Blowout. Say, well, why am I not seeing this? What is this? Is sod, is sod wrong? Steno. Say, sappy. Brew pub order that's tart to the taste. Um, oh no, I'm stuck. Let's finish up. Um, big fish catcher. Trollet, maybe? A trawler? Trollet? Traw? Man, I'm gonna get stuck. A laugh and a. Don't know that. One of 120 in a football field, technically. Oh, a yard. 100 for the the game play area, and then each end zone is 10 yards, I guess. Ghostly sound effect. Um, <laughs> would this just be all O's? Like, ooh. Put an end to. Put an end to. Not sure. Info for analysis would be data. And objecting to, not sure. Otis Redding's record label, I don't know that either. Andean pack animals, okay, so those would be llamas, it looks like. Oh, if you object, if you object to it, you're anti. Um, ghostly sound effect, oh, a moan, right? Put an end to a uh, nix. And this is leading the charge out in front. And I guess Otis Redding's record label is Stacks. Okay, so I just need to zip ahead here because I agonize for a little while and I don't get it. I have to actually reveal the puzzle and something really embarrassing happens. So let's watch. I, I don't know. All right, let's solve it. Auto check. Ah, I was wrong. Oh, it's not positive like that. Beer, of course. Sour beer. Oh, a poser. Brain teaser. Oh, and then what's this? Superfoods, maybe. Superfoods, superfoods. Oh. Wow. Sod, of course it's spelled like that. Why was I thinking two A's? Maybe that was harder for other people. For me, it was, you know... 
easy to get to the end, but then I had, you know, this thing, I thought posit was, was like, you know, you pose a question, but then I looked at it, I was like, isn't posit with an I, posit? I think it is. So sometimes I have those like, those kind of brain like hiccups where I'm not sure. Um, and then sour beer, of course. Sour beer. Okay, that's that. Kind of a dis kind of disappointing, um, but that is what it is. So I guess we'll see you tomorrow for the Wednesday. Take care. Ah, brutal, very brutal. <laughs>